Hi, this is PJK on the MIC, live streaming here from Bolsborough, Somerset in the UK, introducing to you the Mendip CC VLOG. All right, so hello, welcome back to another video. It's currently Wednesday. I'm on leave this week. So uh, coming up with an idea for today's video, it's a tough one. But I've come up with, this morning, the Poster Nostalgia Challenge. So the Poster Nostalgia Challenge is on Villa Viewer. If you click onto the leaderboard section, you can find all the cycling climbs, the 100 climbs, all those leaderboards. But right down the very bottom, you will find the Poster Nostalgia Mendip Hills. If you click on that, it will take you to the leaderboard. And then you can see I'm sat nicely on top. That won't last very long for sure. But if you click on the Mendip Hills on the view button, all 20 of the climbs will come up. And then it's the top time that you've got all added together for all the climbs gives you a total amount of points. And currently I have the most points. So as I looked this morning, John Lamb has actually added two more of the Mendic climbs. He's added Throop Lane and Slate Lane, which means John Lamb is the only one that's completed this. So I should be the first person to complete this. So today's challenge is to be the first to complete all 20 of the Mendic climbs on Post Nostalgia. And I put in three efforts to see if I can get some really good times up there. Also, I'm now top. I'm first on the Post Nostalgia Mendic climbs. So I am the king of the Mendic climbs. Don't tell Ben Miller. Because if Ben Miller finds out, then I won't be for very long. <laughs> and as he's added uh, Slate Lane and Throop Lane, I actually have the fastest times of anybody in the Post Nostalgia leaderboard, which has moved me up to first place. I've never been top of any climbs, to be honest. <laughs> this is amazing. So today's route has me ticking off all three of the climbs I haven't yet got. I've got 17 of the 20. Mirkham Lane's the first one we're heading to. Then we've got Wimble Lane and the Rectory. So three dead end climbs they don't go anywhere which is probably why I've never done them but we're going to see if we can tick them off and do an effort up there so that climb there in the distance is Crook Peak I went up there for a walk yesterday absolutely stunning panoramic views it also looks like you can get a gravel bike up there so uh, we're definitely going to take the vlog up there at some point, but absolutely stunning. Although I'm getting a bit old to be doing those posing shots now on the trick points. Um, I think I pulled something up <laughs> and then pointing at the door. I'm an idiot. But anyway, we're not that far now from Mirkham Climb. Sun's hiding behind the clouds. It's a bit windy. So uh, it's been a while since I've been for a comm attempt. So I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah, my legs, they are old. It's a good word for them, they're old. Right, so here's the first climb. This is Mirkham Lane. It's 1.2 kilometers long. Average grain is 8%. And the maximum it says or 28% on Velovia. I hope it's not that steep. Current com is 3.33. But the time to beat is Dean, who's got 4.35, so. Yeah. Uh, that was savage, but the view, well worth it. What a climb, what a beautiful climb. But what a beast. Oh, that's so steep. Uh, I'll show you a bit more going down. Because that, now my legs haven't got it today. That was awful, that was rubbish. I apologise on behalf of myself and the channel for what a poor effort that was. Oh, king of the men, it's my ass. And I don't bode well for the other two uh, efforts either. I've still got to go over two climbs to get to that one. 
Yeah, I might can this video in the bin. <laughs> you may never see this one. I think the biggest challenge today is getting back by one o'clock before the rain starts. Because uh, it's starting to spit now, I'm not very happy. I think someone's moving some kids up there. Anyway, this is... <laughs> This is the next time, this is Wimble Lane, another dead end. I'm going to compose myself a little bit after those two little lumpy climbs to get here. Have a drink, and I'll talk you through the climb. All right, so this climb looks a little bit better. It's 1.1 kilometers with an average grain at 5.3% with a maximum of 13%. It's a bit more my bag, to be honest. Alex has the uh, fastest time out of our lot, 3.53. I think Dean and Justin are about 4.05-ish each. The comm is three minutes. We're not getting anywhere near that. Let's see if I can disgrace myself some a little bit further. Used to be a shake in my love, the side side of it, and they in my insides, taking me to the point of Yeah, it was just as rubbish. Uh, I couldn't get it in the big ring, so I couldn't really put down all the power, which didn't help. Uh, right, so <laughs> those segments aren't coming up on the Wahoo either, so I don't know what I've done. But it was rubbish. I can tell you that was rubbish. Pretty ordinary climb to do this, this one, to be honest. Nowhere near as good as the other, last one. The last one was a 9 out of 10. This one's about 3. Now we're uh, 40k into an 85km ride. Uh, we've got hot footed over to the next one now, at the rectory, which is uh, near Blackburn Lake. So. Get in time trial mode and see if I can get over there as quick as I can. Try and avoid this rain. If anybody see my legs anywhere on the mend dips, can you let me know? Because they're certainly not with me today. Right, I've made it over to uh, Blackton and Ubley, the other side of the mend dips, but I have no idea where this climb is. It just goes up there somewhere. So it's going to be a steep one, but I think it's a short one. I think I found it. It's in Compton Martin. It says it's only 37 metres long though, but the time is over two minutes. <laughs> this doesn't bode well, does it? Average grain at 14.7%. So Rectory Lane is definitely a tough one. Uh, but this will be the end of my post nostalgia challenge. Once I've been up there, I will be the first person, other than John Lamb, the creator, to have completed all 20 of the post nostalgia Mendic climbs. Then it's up to you. Are you gonna let me sit on top of the leaderboard? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that last bit was a killer, but I don't know if that's somebody's house or it keeps going. Um, <laughs> this could be a anti-climax to completing the challenge and that I didn't go far enough. <laughs> oh, that last bit was ridiculously steep. I think it's definitely somebody's house. There's a house at there. Oh my god, it just gets steeper though. Yeah, I'm now definitely at the top. Because <laughs> that is somebody's house there. Because it's a public footpath, so I don't know where it ends. I'll let you know. Not great views though. Yeah, oh, not tall enough to see the lake, but the lake's over there. Oh. I don't even want to ride down this bit. <laughs> it was slippy coming up. Oh, uh, I can't even stand still. I haven't even got a gradient, it's not even registering. It's ridiculous that you can't see how steep that is on camera though. I'm looking down there, it looks horrendous. I look in the camera, it looks nowhere near. But that last ramp. 
50 something. All right, I'm back at the bottom. I've somehow got to get back over the minutes to get home now. And I got a feeling I've taken the next right, which <laughs> is probably as bad as that one. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm gonna need a few days off for the weekend. Uh, I might be out Saturday again. Well, it doesn't look too bad Saturday. It looks horrendous the rest of the week. Not a great week to bat off. Yeah, Highfield Lane's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I should be glad of me lunch when I get home. Now you're gone, where to run. I'll be standing here alone. And no one's here to hold me. Right, so that's me done. Taxi for Darren. <laughs> I was... You're gonna love this. I'm gonna have to go uh, over to West Hartree and finish off the West Hartree climb. Because I found another road closure. Uh, now who knows if I can get through or not. <laughs> oh, why me? Anyway, I still don't know how I've done on any of the Strava segments. So uh, stay tuned after the end credits for my reaction when I upload it to Strava when I get home. But don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I still need all your intro videos. Don't forget to send your intro videos to mendipcyclingvlogs at gmail.com and uh, we'll put the best ones in the next coming episodes. <sighs> I hate West Hartree. Shall I risk it? I'll see you very, very soon. Turns out I got ninth on Wimmer Hill. How the hell did I get ninth on there? I couldn't, I messed around changing gear. Uh, Rectory Lane is past the cattle grid as well, to make sure we get past the cattle grid. And yeah, not a bad time on uh, Mecham Lane. It's up there with Dean and Justin. I'm quite happy with that considering it felt absolutely awful. So there we have it. I am top of the table with the 20 best times on the 20 best men that climbs. Beat that.